get with a DJ. Get with a DJ and share the different things that he's doing. You know, if he's DJing an event, he's DJing a birthday party, you know. And this has to be a DJ that likes your work. So let's just say if he's at a party and, you know, maybe he can suggest a section of the party where, you know, people can do like a freestyle rap or something like that. You can use your beats for that. And then when he uses those beats, he can say, well, you know, beats provided by Big Grind. You know, and then I can have my little flyers out there or whatever. Because, again, artists is everywhere. You don't, can't look at a person and say they're an artist. You never know. It might be an aspiring artist. You know, that person that could be freestyling over the beat might end up liking the beat. You know, checking your site out and buying something. You know, they see you hustling. They meet you in person. They like you. They may more likely to buy. So, connect with those DJs. Now, you have to work on getting, you know, your site to be in Google. You want to make sure, you always want to check, like for instance, if you Google Big Grind, you'll see all of my stuff. You see my site, you see my MySpace, you see my Twitter, you see my, you know, uh, all the other sites that I have. You know, all the little pages that I have. And what I'll do, and it's great because, like, what I do is I post, like, flyers on the poll. I'll grab something like, I have these little yellow sheets of paper and I'll just put Google Big Grind or Need Beats Google Big Grind because think about it if you're an artist if I put it on a poll and you're driving by you're only going to have a few seconds to see what I'm what I'm trying to advertise to you so you want it to be big letters the paper need to be like yellow or I've used uh, like this color the peach color um, but get like color paper that's going to grab people's attention. And you want the letters to be big and simple. Because when people drive by, and I'll, you know, I'll like drive by and kind of look and just try to pretend like I'm, I'm, you know, maybe a potential artist to see how I may, you know, read the paper. And the first thing I see is Google. Being Google is a major name. When people see that, they're going to see Google, it's going to catch their eyes. All right. Then, Beats. Beats is going to catch my eye because I'm an artist. Now, to an average person, that may not mean nothing to them. But to an artist who you're targeting, the, all they're going to see is Beats, Google, and then they're going to see Big Grind. So, put some stuff on them polls, man. Now, in some cities, it's illegal and you can get fined. But in general, you don't really get in trouble unless you, like, put, like, a shitload them everywhere and I don't do that I'll put it in certain sections that I know they get high traffic host seminars now um, you can rent out you know something like at a hotel or you can do something like uh, maybe if your local church if you belong to a church you can you know use one of their rooms but basically host a seminar on how to do something whether it be um, how to record you know how to rap and you don't really have to like if you're not a rapper or a singer you don't have to be the one teaching it but you can be the one hosting it and that will attract potential people too you can say you know want to learn how to sing come to this free seminar and you have somebody there that could you know kind of teach them how to sing now that person may have like a singing school 